All right, guys, welcome back to The Proof Room. Today is going to be kind of a unique episode. I've had some questions about how much it costs to build my still. So we're going to go over that today. That's right, guys. Today we are going to go over how much it costs me to build my custom still. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have a 15 gallon keg still with a 20 or a 48 inch column. Um, the whole thing is modular, which means you can put it together and take it apart, adjust it. So you can have a one foot column or a two foot column or a four foot column, however many feet of column that you want. I'm going to go over how much all that stuff costs, what I ordered and kind of put it in reference for you because a lot of people have asked me, is it really worth building your own still or buying a manufactured still and how much did it cost? So the first thing that we're gonna go over is you gotta get a keg, you gotta get a stainless steel keg. <clears throat> um, I had one sitting around, but the average price of one is about $40, $50 at the most, and you can find them all over Marketplace and they're just used kegs. Now the next cost that um, I had was buying all of the tri-clamp fittings. I wanted to go with something that was completely modular, easy to clean, and less of a fuss to take apart and put together. So about 97.88 was all my tri-clamp fittings. That's the one and a half inch stainless fittings that are on the side of the keg. There's one of those on the bottom of the keg, the four inch stainless fitting. That's my fill port, my caps, all of my fittings, everything all together. It was a hundred dollars. 97.88. All right. I also had to pay somebody to weld that up and locally for me. Um, I have a buddy that's a welder. He did it for a decent price. It cost me $150 to get everything that I could possibly want. I got the top cut off, everything except for the handles, everything welded in to my keg for 150 bucks, which is a hell of a deal. So all together with the keg, the welding, um, I have $190 into it. You add another $100 for the fittings and you have, you know, 300 bucks. Okay, that's just for your boiler. The next, um, Kind of category that I have here is piping and fittings. So obviously I had to get a ball valve for the drain port. Um, the tri-clamp fittings themselves, the things that hold everything together. Um, you know, the PEX piping that I ran for my water, stuff like that. I included all of that stuff. Now this price might be different for you guys. If you already have your water ran or you have quick access to a water to your water or you're just going to hook it up with a garden hose, this is a lot, a lot different price. OK, so in that category, you know, with my PEX pipe and all my fittings and all my tri clamps, I ran 8242. Exactly. Now, I kept receipts for all this stuff and I kept a spreadsheet just to keep track of kind of what I spent. Um, the next step <clears throat> that I completed after all this was done um, was my PID controller and my 220 um, electrical controller. That all together cost me $183.81 and here's why. I had the, the 2x12 wire, the house wire, already from another project. I didn't include any of the, the crimping uh, gadgets in and out of that kind of stuff. Um, that's literally your PID, um, your SSR, and your probe. That all comes together in a kit. That's $39.99, so 40 bucks. Your volt and amp meter is $15.89. That, that's an optional thing. You don't have to have it. I wanted it because I wanted to know how many uh, amps I was drawing in my, my elements all the time. Um, the 3,500 watt elements that I bought, I have two 3,500 watt elements in my keg. 
those together were $71.98 altogether. And that's where the majority of the cost comes from. Uh, I have two, two plugs, just standard 220 receptacles. Uh, those together were $11.98. Um, and two and two actual plugs that go on the end of the cords, and those were also eleven ninety eight. I got one switch was ten ninety nine. That's a two twenty wall switch, and cords for my elements run me about twenty one dollars. So altogether, I have one hundred eighty three eighty one just in my controller. Now you can find these controllers all over the place a lot of people have them not a lot of people have them with two elements but they're, they're out there um you can buy them pre-made and they run a lot more than 183 dollars okay so that that was a big savings for me that and not only that guys i don't think you can put a price on learning how to do all this stuff yourself i learned so much during this project that i'm going to be able to carry on with me for years to come. I'm never going to forget this. I'm never, um, as I build this thing up, as I spend more money and upgrades and do all the things that I want to do to my still, I'm going to carry those skills with me. So I don't think you can put a price tag on that, but the, the grand total on everything that I spent and everything that I could uh, keep track of was five hundred and fifty four dollars and eleven cents that includes your boiler your still column all your water piping permanent water piping not we're not talking about garden hose and and uh, stuff like that we're talking about permanent water piping a permanent drain and your electric controller I know people that have spent $550 just on their electric controller buying it pre-made. I have that into this whole project. Okay, so for anybody that says that you can buy a still pre-made for less than I built mine, show me. Show me where it's at because I looked all over the internet. I've been looking at stills for three years. I did research on this project and started collecting parts three years ago. I bought that keg three years ago. Okay, so as I kind of rolled through it, I started collecting parts and slowly built it up. You know, um, all the copper came out of an old house. I think I ended up buying two uh, half inch copper unions. That was it. The rest of it come out of a demo. I cleaned it up, uh, washed it real good, cleaned it up, sanded it, and stuck everything together, and it worked. You know, so I didn't include the cost of the copper. If you had to buy the copper, I would say maybe at the most seventy more dollars, twenty dollars for each each foot of two inch. And actually, it's probably probably more like fifty bucks. Fifty bucks in copper. And you have the still that I have. Exactly the same thing. The exact same still column that I have. So 50 bucks in copper just to build my still column. Even if you add that in, I'm only at $604.11 with everything included. I don't think that you can find that kind of deal anywhere else. I just don't think you, I don't think the big still manufacturers can manufacture a still and sell it to you for the price that you can build it yourself. Not only do you get it at a better deal, you also learn the skills that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life. So I just wanted to do a quick video guys, let you know how everything works. If you guys want to see how I built this still step by step, Click the playlist above, it's called Still Build. It'll go through four or five videos of how I put this thing together and all the parts and pieces that I, that I got. I'm also gonna link the Excel spreadsheet that I created for this project 
in the description so you can kind of see the prices that I paid for everything and know kind of where you want to be in the ballpark. You could spend more than this, you could spend less than this, but to get exactly the same thing that I have, it's going to be right around $550 to $600. That's 15 gallons still. I don't think you're going to do better than that. So I'll leave links to all this stuff down in the, the description, guys. I'll also leave a link to my Excel spreadsheet. All right, guys, if you made it through all that, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You want to see some more content, hit that like button for me. Have an awesome week. Have an awesome holiday.